It's number 9 of my Let's Play of Primordia. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Xor. In this part, uh, basically, we do some exchanges. We learn to communicate through beeps. And we send a robot to go fetch something. Like, so now what you're going to do, you help the other two go away from the land, but the floating guy still here. Well, maybe I can't help the floating guy go. I don't know. I really don't. A complicated floating robot with a spinning antenna on its head. And he still says nothing, right? Hello? Boss, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to find another way to communicate with it. Which I doubt I've got. Let's see. Data pouch, laws, disk, decryption module. This here? That's never going to work. Is this on this? How would that even? Oh, okay. Futile. Stop! 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 I'm trying to let go. Okay. Ah, uh, signal transmitter, burnt sensor. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think for now we don't have anything. So, okay. Um, and he's gonna keep waiting there. I think so. We'll go this way. Sad robot. I am waiting. It's it's Eeyore the robot. What are you doing here? Waiting. For what? My bus. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bus isn't coming. It will come. Your bus is a burning wreck about two blocks from here. It will come. I must go home. Metromind will take me home. A rather simple looking model. I am waiting. <laughs> okay. Uh, sign. Bus stop. Buses run every 10 minutes. 10 is crossed out, and 30 is written below it. 30 is crossed out, and 60 is written below it. 60 is crossed out, and daily is written below it. <laughs> daily minutes? That doesn't make sense. If it makes you feel better, daily is crossed out, and service suspended is written below it. <laughs> Why'd that make you feel better, Zixel? I don't think it does. The Croppin! Ridiculous! This place is crazy! I missed something, I think, maybe. I am waiting. I am waiting. Uh, the Law and You, a Metropolitan Guide. It's written by Clarity Arbiter Build. It explains about the refuge rule and says that for the first 48 hours after a robot arrives at Metropole, it will not be punished for violations of any laws except for harming another robot or causing significant property damage. Uh, cool. Um, I am waiting. This is all his exit back there. I don't want to do that, obviously. Um, I am Zexor, make him stop saying it over and over. I can't. It's in the game. I don't know what to do. It's just there. It's, I don't know what you want me to do. Even I feel kind of bad for that guy, boss. He just seems so hopeless and helpless. Kind of like you did with the conduits. I appreciate your sympathy. I am waiting. I am waiting. <laughs> ah, okay. So, no, I'm pretty sure nothing yet. All right, let's go back out. Go back out. And across again. Yeah, I don't know. Um, interesting. To figure out. I guess the pilot didn't see the stoplight. There's nothing worth. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Okay, let's, let's go back out here. See if. So that's just everything I had last time, or a couple times ago, actually. Ah, uh, but but per big robot. Now but. that's what I call a floating bomb, boss. Would it not have been better to have destroyed ourselves gloriously in battle rather than perpetuate this false existence? What do you? Yes. The answer is yes. Boss, I think someone
someone left the smart off that smart bomb, I wouldn't expect much conversation out of them. I wouldn't expect much. I now that. All right, so nothing else, I guess, for now. Boss, even if there's some code to crack here so that we can understand what it's saying, I propose we just ignore it. Maybe, for once, the other robot can figure out how to communicate with us. Agreed. It's some kind of robot that's lighting up the street, seemingly at random. Um. A gray android. Just distortion. Oh, there's Oswald. Oswald factor built. Well, that isn't my dear friend Horatio. To what do I owe the pleasure? Have you come to relieve me of another belonging? But Rex is right here. For the moment. Soon his visitation with Cornelius will begin. I'm sorry. Please do not embarrass us both with your false sympathy. Wow. Why do you and Cornelius hate each other? Firstly, because he is arrogant, incompetent, and dishonest. And secondly, because I once loaned him something of great sentimental value to me, and he lost it. So why'd you ever like him in the first place? I cannot say. Goodbye. Parting is such sweet sorrow. I don't have anything to say. Oswald. Okay, uh, Rex. Hi, Rex. Rex, factor built, built. Hi, Rex. Have anything for me? That's it. Did you buy an Urbanian robot named 113th Legion Built? I've done a lot of trades, Tyro. I can't be expected to keep track of them all. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. So for this, I need what again? I'll trade it to you for something shiny. Something shiny. Which I doubt I have. I don't think I have anything that's shiny. So. Um. But I don't know. Just another floating. Hey! <laughs> Saxo, Crispin get all upset with you because he like flown too. Yeah, well, so. So why you tell him I didn't? It was friggin' uh, Horatio. There's nothing more to say to him. I'm going to try sending messages to him in binary. On an analog transmitter? That sounds like fun. For once, I'm glad you're the one with hands. <laughs> What's he saying? Thank you. 
remember my mother so that I could dance with Bob. Looks like we're going to need to go talk to Leopold about a motor. Okay, so back out and find out what he wants for the motor. And I got a record also. Okay, Leopold, I got on with the motor. Motor business. You need to give Gimbal back his motor, Leopold. All trades are final, Tyro. Told him that before we did the swap. Now my problem, he don't like records. You knew he wasn't looking for a record. Listen, Tyro. I don't know what people want or don't want. They do. Not my job to do Q&A on their faulty logic. You know he's going to sue you, right? Let him try. First off, he can't get into the courthouse any more than you can. Second, what's his case? A deal's a deal. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. So I don't know, motor and small motor. Is that Gimbal's motor? Sure it is. Probably a bigger one. It sure is. So I need a bigger motor, huh? Is that the motor that Gimbal Lapida built traded you? This? This is a Sterling Air motor. Something else entirely. Would it help me fly? Nope. We're not looking to pick up random motors anyway. Alright, so for that, I need a bigger motor. Of some kind. Ah. Okay. Um. I don't. Okay. Alright, let's go back into the bar. Maybe there's something here I missed. Um, taps. Um, bottles. It's a note from the bartender. My programming requires me to serve Oswald, but he is consuming dangerous levels of oil. Please intervene. Ah! You should stop drinking, Oswald. And why should I? Oil smooths the rough edges from when Rex was ripped away from me. You should stop. Oh. You should stop drinking. Oh, stop being such a stop. Goodbye. How can you so sweet? Yeah, bye. Right. Hello? Uh, boss, he's... I wouldn't expect... That arm robot... No sense trying to talk. No sense... That arm robot... Hmm... Oh, I know. Hang on. No, no, I didn't mean to exit. Gosh dang it. Go back. Oh, don't let Armstrong fool you. If he didn't want me to have another drink, you wouldn't pour it. The note says his programming requires him to serve you. Smart total, eh? Let's try this. That on Rex. Ha! Sucker! Got him to got him to stop drinking. No sense. That arm robot appears to be the. Ah, uh, yep. And this, I don't think this will do anything though. Feudal. Yeah, all right, whatever. Well, I got Oswald to stop drinking. <laughs> uh, where did gravity did he go? There's nowhere else to go. Go all the way out here? Uh, I don't know. He ran to some random location I can't go, apparently. Uh, whatever. Ah. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't know. Let's try this. Rex! Rex! 
Oh, and then maybe I can grab grab his oil. All right, so now I have oil. Did he want oil? Did he, did he want oil for anything? I don't think so, but let's see. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. That's a watch. That's her. Um. Yeah, no. Exit. Actually, I'm wondering now if I can communicate with the the floating. Yeah, yeah. Yep, this. Yep. Okay. Uh, on that. Don't bother her. Stop that. We can't afford to waste. Ah, well, I made some progress, but that's going to be where we end this part. So thanks, everybody, for watching. This has been number nine of my playthrough of Primordia. I am Zexor. If you've enjoyed this, please let me know. We Comment. Some lesson yes. Use more. All right, that's going to do it. So thanks, everybody, for watching. This has been my uh, playthrough of uh, Primordia. My name is Zexor. If you've enjoyed this, please let me know. Comment if you have anything to say. Like the video, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter at ZexorWaglin, Instagram, ZexorWaglin, Facebook, Zexor.Waglin. And I will keep you up to date with the latest things on my channel, including reminders about live streams, which are every Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. London Time. Uh, and other things such as coming giveaways and more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Until next time, peace.